Alright everyone, welcome back again to more Tsukihime. Let's roll. I kept my composure to the very end. Had I developed a split personality? Was I possessed by someone else's spirit? I never once entertained such unscientific notions. In the end, my conclusion was these were the same fleeting invasive thoughts that everyone shared. I might complain when my father came to wake me after I'd stayed up late the night before. I might get upset after being splashed with water by a passing car while I walked down the main street after a heavy rainfall. These impulses were no different, small internal rebellions that momentarily took me over. Oh believe me dude, this is no small internal impulse. But while perhaps other people could control them, I was never someone who could go against their own heart. <clears throat> I knew it was only a matter of time before I ended up doing something that I couldn't take back. All I could do was lock myself up in my room. I was dead set on living out my days doing nothing and meeting no one. That way, I wouldn't have the chance to get angry about anything or build resentment for anyone. So I thought. I should have feared myself less. <coughs> Excuse me. I trusted God more and turned to a priest for advice. Hiding away in the prison I made my own, my own room wore away at my soul until eventually, I reached a breaking point. This is not something to read before going back to sleep, man, <laughs> in my opinion. That day, with myself fully transformed to someone else, an innocuous thought came to mind. That I was thirsty. Slowly, I dragged my weakened body out of my room. My parents, who were relaxing in the living room, came rushing to me as I emerged for the first time in a month. My father greeted me, concerned in his voice. My mother smiled, tears welling in her eyes, and I killed them both. Roa. It was all too easy. My body was still weak, still thirsty, but I had the strength to bite down on my parents' throats and drink and drink. After draining them both of blood and life, I stood up. I was right. It was Roa. An unfamiliar voice spoke in my tongue. The thing that was once me painted its mouth red and wrapped its own body in an embrace. What providence was this? Typically, the vessels I reincarnate into are all chosen in advance. First, they must possess authority in the land of their birth. Second, their family must possess some unique talent. The first condition is the more important, the second merely supplementary. My primary task is to find a family line fulfilling the first condition and set it as the destination of my next reincarnation. However, in my previous life, the princess killed me before I could take my decision. Instead, I was forced to abridge the process and rely on astrology to guide me. Which is how I ended up with this body, belonging to the child of a middle class family with low social standing. I knew it would be challenging to take control of the town under these circumstances. Building influence in the few years I had before the princess found me was next to impossible. But I did not despair. If anything, I felt euphoric, as if my body was brimming with light. When weighing lineage against talent, I had always chosen the former. As a consequence, my hosts had never physically excelled. But this time was different. This body possessed magic circuits in such abundance and quality that they could generate more magical energy than a hundred mages. Even the most talented mages would be considered defective compared to this. I could only laugh at the miscalculations of my past generations. All this time, my conditions were backwards. Authority and influence can be acquired with time. However, a truly outstanding body is a gift one must be born with, by the grace of the Lord. It was not until nth reincarnation that I finally realized this truth. After I awoke, the set about transforming the town into a necropolis as quietly and inevitably as water seeps through dry soil. I abandoned the disorderly methods I had previously employed. This time, I proceeded gently taking care not to spill too much blood at once. I was careful and methodical. Within a single night, the town was mine. From there, I painstakingly lovingly built my castle from the ground up. 
I would not let a single human escape, but nor would I let them die unnecessarily. First, I neatly frosted the cake with despair, then little by little, sneering all the while, decorated it with jam and jelly and meat in resplendent fashion. It wasn't the most efficient process, but there was nothing that could be done about that. My reincarnated consciousness cannot exist on its own. I myself am nothing more than knowledge and drive. My personality is reconstructed for each new generation, based on the character and values of my host. Though I have control over my vessel, its thought processes and norms do not change entirely. In other words, my body belongs to my reincarnated self, but my original self remains. It retains its consciousness and memories, but slumbers amidst a nightmare of its own creation, from which it cannot wake. Which is why I remember. I remember the feeling of biting into my parents' throats. I remember the days I spent tormenting the souls of the townspeople who was once smiled at me, slowly melting down one by one. All in all, it took only a week. In a week, I held the lives of everyone in this town in the palm of my hand, mine to play with for my own amusement. I wished to lose all reason, go insane, and yield everything to my impulses. But if I did, I knew I would only commit even worse atrocities. I had to hold on. If I maintained my sanity, at least I could limit the harm I could do. Destruction is close at hand now. Not of this town, but of something much greater. I find myself rejoicing that my magnum opus is coming to fruition. For this reason, I have chased eternity. For this reason, I have collected the blood of so many. For this reason, others like myself, masters of far greater necro necropoles, have converged on this town. Before long, my consciousness will flicker out. Tonight, a world would end, but I would fade away before I could see it cursed to its last. If this nightmare had one saving grace, it would be that its end came quickly. The pale woman arrived with the crimson moon. I don't know who she is, and yet, I do. The sixth ritual begins. With this body, I believe it possible that I would finally have that woman in white, and then, and then the profane ceremony was brought to a halt. The white vampire princess and I did battle, ending in my demise. In my next reincarnation already prepared, I transmigrated, leaving only my corpse behind. The woman departed, and my body was brought to the Holy See. Why do we have a book on Roa? <laughs> I spring into a sitting position like an alarm has just gone off. My eyes dart up as I try to swallow the urge to vomit burning at the back of my throat. It feels as if my entire body is covered in something red and sticky. I'm sweating profusely. I must have had a particularly horrible nightmare. Well, it looked to me like you were remembering that time when uh, your sister was crying and someone was bloody. Probably you. If I remember correctly, it was you. Yeah, some kind of bad dream. <sighs> I wipe away the sweat that had formed on my brow and finally start to calm down. It must have been the book I read before I fell asleep. I can't recall what it was about, but I remember the detail, the makeup of my body, the tools that were used. It all felt more real than any dream I've ever had. <coughs> this is bad. I'm feeling nauseous again. Best not to think about it anymore. Feels like something I shouldn't dwell on. As a famous doctor once said, dreams are doomed to be forgotten. I shake my head to clear away the remnant of the dream. I'm thirsty. My arms and legs are still heavy from sleep, but I should get changed and head to the bathroom. Washing my face and drinking some water will help both my nausea and my thirst.
As I change out my pajamas and into my uniform, I hear a soft knock on my door. おはようございます。This she doesn't usually offer her opinion unasked. Yeah, I stopped myself before I say CL's name. That was close. I shuddered to imagine the kind of interrogation Akia would put me through if she'd heard that. No. <laughs> しきさまのお顔の色が今朝は特に優れないように見えたので。ああ、それは大丈夫。ちょっと夢見が悪くて気分が悪かったんだ。それも顔を洗えば戻るから心配しないでくれ。朝食だろ。洗面所で顔を
Apparently, she has to work elsewhere today and left the mansion early. Akihawa. Sokka. I took too much time for breakfast. It's half past seven. I'll be tardy if I don't hurry. Her look of concern still has not faded. そうではなくて。あの、Your words make me slap a hand to my face. I don't have my glasses on. Preoccupied with how I was feeling, I completely forgot about them. I must look different than usual. そういえばそうだった。これでいいかな? いいえ、別にかけていなければいけないと言いたかったのではなく、メガネをかけていない指揮様を見るのは珍しいことですので、つい。That is true. I've always avoided taking my glasses off in front of people so as to not look at them with my bare eyes. I just haven't been very good at these past few days. お時間を取らせて失礼いたしました。This receives me off as I step outside. Squinting against the sun shining brightly overhead, I look up at the clear blue sky. I take a deep breath and fill my lungs with fresh air. It erases the last of my nausea and headache. Good, I should have no trouble going to school like this. I leave the tunnel mansion at a brisk pace, determined to see CL as soon as physically possible. It looks like I'll make it to class before homeroom starts. <clears throat> The vague hope that Seo will be hanging out in my classroom again today floats through my mind as I hop up the stairs. And... Ask and ye shall receive. The person I see climbing the stairs right before my eyes is none other than CL herself. This miracle of good timing has made me lose my senses, apparently. I make my wild attempt to charge up the stairs, slip my hands under her arms, and pick her up. And she caught you. Does she have eyes in the back of her head? She effortlessly evades my sneak attack. I, on the other hand, am sent crashing into the wall by momentum, unable to even touch her. Tonokundeshtaka. I answer calmly, adjusting my glasses. Wait, on second thought, even I have to admit that was weird. But maybe my nonchalant attitude worked in my favor. It seems like CL is the one who's feeling sorry. Or not. Now she looks really angry. すみません。一方的に俺が悪かったです。先輩を見たらつい I think she knows about me and Arcoid again. Seo pairs her lovely greeting with an equally lovely smile. I give her a good morning back. The look on her face makes me feel a certain kind of pressure, but I ignore it. I can't take that smile for granted. 
もうすぐホームルームなので失礼しますねあそうだお昼休み作動室に来てくださいぜひお話ししたいことがあるので絶対ですよいろいろ準備をして待ってますからおはようさ。安定のやる気のなさで安心したよ。ところでこれ、どういうこと一次元目のノエル先生が風邪で休みなんだとよ。なんで、うちの番が来るまで自習なんだと。ますます状況がわからない。うちの番ってなんだだから予防接種の注射だろう。一週間前にノエル先生が。ってそうかあの日お前早退してたっけ体調を崩す生徒が例年より多いんで特別に決まったんだよ1年は昨日2年は今日ってわけ That must have been the day I met Arquade Apparently they announced the vaccination after classes ended Our turn comes during second period We form a line outside the nurse's office and wait. Normally, we'd go up in five at a time, but for some reason, today they're calling us in one by one. Arihiko has already gone home, complained that it's a pain in the ass and he doesn't like getting shots. Hmm, Bokchan wa gokaku ka na? Arak is in my school now. Hi! Chotto itai o chusha shimachi kara gaman shite ne? I can hear the doctor's voice coming from the nurse's office. Maybe it's because this was organized on short notice, but whoever's in there doesn't sound like the elderly doctor we usually get. I've heard enough of this cloying voice to know who it belongs to. Hi, t s u g i n o s a m p l e c h a n Dozo! I enter the nurse's office. And sure enough, the funky doctor who has absolutely no place being in this school is sitting there before me. Araku Hokose. Ara, Botchan Tara Kokono Seto Data no? Atashi Bikri! Moskaste Kore Umme no Akaito Tetskashira? Yan Komacho! Kore de Tonoke no Zai san, Hitori Jimen Jan! I feel like you planned this. I would never have guessed that this was the reason she wasn't at the Tono Mansion this morning. So she really is a doctor, huh? ハイトクテキっていうの何せよ初物は最高よねここなら当主ちゃんの目も届かないしでは出席番号13番当の指揮君観念して座り構え逃げたら内心書にバツつけるぞあら、casually threatens me as she prepares the injection Reacting to her every jibe will only egg her on so I remain silent as I sit down and stick out my right arm 
するマジかよしばらく見ないうちに大きくなっちゃってやっぱり人間の成長速度って偉大よね息き急いでるようで悲しいけどさてチキちゃんはどっちがいいかしらねうんやっぱりこっちどっちパンチミンチ予防接種に種類があるんですかあるわよ私被験者にも選択の自由はあるべきだと思う派だし遅くてあんまり痛くないけど効果が高いものとぶっとくてすっごく痛いけど効果が薄いのがあるんだけどチキちゃんはどっちが好むかしらえ<笑>注射慣れしてるでしょほら、私博士だけどナース服も大好きですしメスの感触もしびれちゃうけどお注射のドクドク注入しちゃう感じとかたまらないじゃないで、無言で席を立つとか指揮ちゃんひどくないいや、後が疲れてますから雑談はまた次の機会に I don't mean to be rude, but second period will be over by the time Arak's done tick talking my ear off. I fix my clothes and leave the nurse's office. As I do. I t h i n she was a little bit of 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 Her ominous remark stops me in my tracks. But only for a second. This has to be more for usual crazy talk. On the other side of the curtain, Professor Adak's long hair sways like a spider web. After an eternity of waiting, it's finally time. I don't think the morning classes have ever gone by so slowly. It's no exaggeration to say that each second felt like 10, but in the end, my patience prevailed. I made it to lunch without even faltering, let alone fainting, so I marched to the battleground in perfect condition. Yeah, first of all, I'm going to go to the battleground. I'm going to go to the battleground. I'm going to go to the battleground. I'll get my own lunch, of course, but I should get something for CL too. Our relationship is probably past the point of me needing to present an offering, but I don't see any harm in going the extra mile today. I had to break some my desire to go straight to the tea ceremony room and try to keep my cool as I head for the school store. I knock on the door to the tea ceremony room. Tia would always come out to greet me here, but today seems to be different. Ah, Tono kun d e s ne? すみません。今ちょっと手が離せなくて、遠慮せず入っちゃってください。Sales dulcet tones ring out from the inside the room. I have no idea what she's preparing, but her unusual cheer radiates a warm light. 
I'm sure that the moment I slide this door open, it will spill onto the hallway and turn the walls bright white. Sorry. I clear my throat and open the door. This is about to be the best lunch of my life. I entered the room without a doubt in my mind. I hear a clicking sound as the door closes on its own. Since when did this door have an automatic lock? Head tilted in confusion, I walk into the Japanese style room. What the hell is that? Is that a weapon? Seo gives me a warm welcome. Neatly laid out in the room are two cups of green tea, a pair of cushions, and a massive torture device I vaguely recognize. Senpai, that's... あ、どうぞ気にせずに。安心してください。それは善良な人には反応しませんから、悪い人にしか聞かないんですよ。That won't stop me from being distracted by it. 例えば、約束を守らない嘘つきとか? Ah, she knows. Her perfect smile makes these words truly intimidating. This is no reward. It's a carefully staged ambush. それは結構ですけど。なんだってそんな物をわざわざここにいいえ、ちょっと手入れをしていただけですよ。タイはないのです。私的に今のところは。Man, is she petty? <laughs> it sure sounds like she has something else in mind. She looks up at me with her wide grin on her face. This is bad. Worse than Vlov. If I don't get out of here now, my life will be in danger. まずは座りましょう、トウノ君。あ、もちろん正座で。ここ、お茶の間ですからね。Sail towards my escape with a perfectly timed move. で、ですよね。座ります。Slowly, I lower myself onto the cushion, tucking my knees under me. I miss the old CL who would cheerfully tell me to make myself comfortable. I cower before her, daring to say nothing. Anyone would. Faced with the one-two combo of that smile and that weapon. Tia reaches for the weapon ever so naturally like this is a part of the tea ceremony. Without so much as a grunt, she lifts it up. That hunk of metal looks like it's several times heavier than me. トウノ君には一度見せていますから隠すこともありませんよね。イエーイ。これは大昔に作られた特別な道具を対吸血鬼にリストアしたものです。トウノ君には何に見えますか？My first thought is that it looks like a nightmare for the person at the wrong end of its barrel, but I bite my tongue and say that it looks like a big gun. I think that it looks really cool, of course. その通りです。これは私が持つ武器の中でも大きなもので。ここから恋を打ち出して嘘つき。いえ、吸血鬼にお仕置きをする道具ですね。油圧式でしたが、それでは特殊環境下で故障する危険性が高いので、メイン動力
審判裁きの一撃ですねこのセブンの弾丸を受けて立ち上がれるといいえ使徒はいないでしょう She's definitely emphasizing the word liar a lot. So, yeah, that leads me to believe she was there. She saw us, and yeah, we're paying for it. Still, g l o w s like a proud parent. A stake driver this powerful could probably take down anything, even a vampire. The problem is whether or not its next stake has my name on it. You know what else has a name on it? That lunch you got for CL. Give it to her. 他にもいくつか種類がありますがそれらは今の塔の君には関係がないので紹介はできませんまことに残念ですが諦めてください Give her the curry sandwich now. そうですかそれはよかった参考までに聞きますがその銃食い打ち器の他にはどんな無理難題があるんでしょうそうですね。火あぶり、引きつぶし、切り刻み、毒まぶし、痛めつけといったところでしょうか。I can only imagine what would happen if he really did cheat on her. おや、不思議なことに、これらは吸血鬼に協力した罪人にも適用される刑罰でした。And there it is. それが何か I am so screwed. She's far beyond the point of suspicion. She knows full well that I went out with Arkwood last night. Tokoro de Ochao Dozo. Nodo no Kawaki wa Kaiwa no Kawaki desu yo. Kitchin to shita o hanashi o shite kureru to omotta no de. Tokubet ni shibui o chao i demas ta kara. Oh my god, she even made bitter tea. Oh my god. Oh, I was hoping for green. Alright, time to apologize for everything I've got. I have no choice now but to believe in the power of confession. Senpai, ano desu ne? Hai, nan de shou ka, Tono kun? Sakuya no hanashi nan desu ke do. Oh, Sakuya no hanashi desu ka? Sore wa kiyomi bukai. 成長しますので遠慮なくどうぞ懺悔だと思って God, she's so evil at times, man. すみません俺は先輩との約束を破ってアルクエイドと吸血鬼を探しに行きましたあいつとは2日前からそういう約束だったんですそうですか成果はありましたか Wouldn't you know? You're probably watching us. ありませんでした吸血鬼は慎重になってるみたいでしばらくは膠着状態だろうってアルクエイドはでしょうねそれに関しては私も同意見です私と真相がいる以上下手に動くことはないでしょうまあそれはいいとしてそれであなたの感想は吸血鬼と協力して得るものはありましたかえ感想ですか That's unexpected. I thought Tia would be lecturing me for breaking my promise. そうです。やっぱり怖かったとか、もう二度と関わりたくないとか、そういった感想です。You should probably tell your friends with Arcwade. Should be upset, but. You know, at least she'll know why you're always hanging out with her. That's it, Tono Kun wa itta janai desu ka? Buki ga atte mo tatakao no wa kowai itte. Dakara, kore de koritari wa shinai in desu ka? Sore wa arimasen. Senpai no chikara ni naritai no wa kawara nai shi. Kyuke tsuki no koto o mina katta koto ni mo deki nai. Demo, gomen nasai. Senpai to no yaksoko o yabutta koto wa hanseng shite imasu. あの時点でアルクエイドと2人で吸血鬼探しをしていることを先輩に告白すればよかったんですあ
I'm trying to keep my word to Arquaid. I stepped all over the leniency CL gave me. No, that's not it. I didn't want CL to hate me, so I kept quiet about my plans with Arquaid. And I did that knowing it would be dishonest. ですか。それはそうですね。トウノ君ははっきり私に秘密を打ち明けるべきでした。ですが、私が反省してほしいのはそこではありません。トウノ君はもっと自分の体を大事にしてください。あなたは普通の男の子なんです。私のような掃除
部外者である遠野君に説明することは避けていましたが今回は特例ですあなたがこの先も吸血鬼に関わるというのなら彼女と彼女の敵ロアについてお話ししますシフティー。アルクエド・ブリュンスタッドは神祖でありこの町に救っているロアは使徒となります上級の人たちは皆特殊な異能を持っていますがロアはその中でも異端扱いされている特例でした特例あのブローブみたいなやつなんですかソとかいう吸血鬼の頂点みたいなそうですね行ってきた最悪量で認定するのならロアは使徒海底における9位27祖に匹敵します事実教会は彼を28人目の祖として捉えています他の祖たちは彼を同意と認めてはいませんがアンアンセスターアキングマンヴァンパイアスブラブコミンヒアはカラマニーに itself So, to think that someone like that has been in this town for decades is unsettling. But I wonder. Roa ってやつはそんなに強いんですかブローブと同じくらいなら、俺たち、とっくに死んでいると思うんですけど。Roa 本人はそこまで強力な個体ではありません。ですが、対処するという意味で言えば、ブローブよりはるかに厄介な相手なんです。何しろ。死んでも生き返ってしまうんですから先輩吸血鬼は不死身なんだから死んでも生き返ってくるのは当たり前なんじゃないかな不老不死と蘇生はまた別の話ですよ確かに吸血鬼は知死の傷を負っても血液がある限り復元しますが血液が底をついた状態であれば消滅します消滅した後も霊族使徒たちが主の肉体を修復し力ある血液を注ぎ込めば復元はするでしょうが完全に消滅した後一人でに蘇生する吸血鬼はいないけれどロアはそれすら克服してしまった吸血鬼なんですトーノ君はリンネ転生という言葉をご存知ですか仏教用語ですから日本の方には馴染みはあると思うんですけどリンカーネーション That's what Arcade said Rose's ability was はいありますけど死んでも次の人間として生まれ変わるっていうやつでしょうロアの特性はまさにそれです彼は輪廻転生を魔術として成功させた死んでも生き返る殺しても殺せないとはそういう意味なんですもっとも。ロアの情報はその胎児が成人ないし事故としての知性を持つまで影を潜めていますそして天生体が自分を引き継ぐにふさわしい知性を持った段階でロアという吸血鬼になってしまうんです
ちょっと待って先輩移植ってつまり赤ん坊が母親のお腹の中にいる時に手術みたいなことをするんですか<笑>